Hey, yo! Today I have one of Madden 22's glitchy run plays for you. This run play is a very nice play that can be run anywhere on the field, even on the goal line for easy touchdowns. This play is in the pistol ace formation and the play is called strong power. Now this play is in the following playbooks. There's only two, the pistol playbook and the Seahawks playbook. Now this is a power run, so you want to use your big backs, but you can also use your regular elusive backs for this run also. But when I'm on the goal line and I'm on third and two, fourth and one yard to go, I like to put the big boy in and let the big boy beast so let's get into the breakdown, guys. Now here's the play right here, guys. Great thing is you can flip this play, run it to the right or the left, and your opponent doesn't know. You can also motion tight ends, motion receivers, line those guys up to trick your opponent if you're running it right or left. Now I'll show you that how I like to do that. And it really confuses the defense, especially if they're in zone defense. And it also is a way you can tell if they're in man or zone. But when I run this play, I always look at that box. Look at how many defenders you have versus on how many blockers you have to block. For instance, the box is separated in two boxes, one on the left, one on the right. The, the defense, when you hold R2 on the PS5, it shows that you have a good matchup on the right side because you have four defenders in the box and we have four blockers. We have the guard on the right, the tackle on the right, and the tight end. And we also have a pulling guard from the left coming over there also. So we have a four on four matchup. But if you look at the left side, we have three defenders. That line is cut right down the middle to split those boxes up. It goes right down the middle of your formation. So you only have three defenders on the left. You also have that pulling guard, which gives you four blockers on three defenders. Now, if we run it to the left, as you see, we have a better opportunity to pick up a lot more yards because we have more blockers than defenders. Okay, so that is something you need to really pay attention to when you're running the ball, and especially on this play. As you see right here, we have three defenders, everyone gets picked up, and we have 70. He's a free blocker, is able to get down there and pick somebody else up, but he doesn't do anything. He goes back. I wish he would have ran downfield, but... He's able to be a free blocker on the side. So that's what you want to look for. Those type of matchups. Right here, we have three defenders on the left, three defenders on the right. We do not count the nose tackle because he's right in the middle of the field. So we can run it to the right or the left. We'll run it to the right and we'll be patient. We won't press turbo until we're past that line of scrimmage and we'll let those blocks develop. Let the blocks develop and you'll do great. Right now we have four defenders in the box on the right so we have four blockers we do have a matchup but i like the matchup to the left better three defenders versus four blockers be patient let that guy get that block make a move on him and score an easy touchdown mama scored a touchdown where's my go go girls run this play like this and you will not have any trouble racking up thousands of rushing yards on your opponent and it's a great glitchy play the way the blocking develops as long as you do this the other thing you can do is you can actually shift your tight ends and your what's the name in this case we have it looks like this is probably a blitz or something but we shifted it and we see three defenders in the box but for for instance they're telling them we have we're outnumbered so we're going to move that tight end over and let him get out there and provide an extra blocker for us in that case. So when you're overloaded to one side that you want to go to, bring the tight end over. It works great against zone defenses. Okay, or if you're running it to this side and you overload it and you want to run it to the right, take your tight end, hope they're in man defense. They're not in man defense. So I would just still run this ball, be patient, and you can still pick up your yards, okay? But you can do that with receivers and the tight ends, vice versa. Right here, let's run it to the right. It's just too good but to not run it to the right. Hold that block, hold that block. Almost got another touchdown on him. Guys, it's a great play as long as you're patient. 
as long as you're placing. He's blitzing to the left. He's blitzing from his left, our right. We're going to pull this receiver over. This is a man defense. This is a man defense. So that receiver should pick that guy out. We should only have three people over here. We should still be outnumbered. Still be outnumbered for the blockers. And we should get an easy touchdown, guys. That is how you break down how to run this run play. And it is very, very glitchy. I love it when they're up on the line because everybody gets picked up. And I just got to be patient and let these blocks develop. Do not spam turbo. Press turbo when you need to. You don't need to press turbo as that play is developing. Right here, we have, we have one, two, three, four defenders. We have four blockers. We can run it to the right. We can run it to the right. Hold that block. Hold that block. And if you press turbo while that guy receiver is blocking, it's a good chance he'll get a block shed. So right here, better advantage to the left. Okay. Oh, look at that block. That block was so good, it messed me up. It messed me up, man, that block was so good. Nice pancake. Nice pancakes. So now we're on the goal line. One of the favorite places I like to run this play. We do the same thing. We look at the least amount of people in the box. And I like to get this one either to the outside or cut it back. Now, this is where I would put a, a bigger back end. But McCaffrey is fine uh, to get that game-winning touchdown and get that easy two-point conversion. Now, right here, sometimes if you're running it, you can see we're just getting into the outside. Sometimes you might have to cut it back, depending on how they're playing, especially in the red zone on the goal line. Right here, uh, we're going to flip this play. Now, this play, this guy might get to the outside, so we're ready to cut it back. Right there, I didn't get a chance, but sometimes you might have to cut it back. Let those blockers lead. Now, right here, we're going to run it to the left, and we're just going to really let those blockers get out there. Let those blockers get out there. If you don't, you'll get those block sheds, and they'll get back there. But you can use this on the goal line, uh, fourth and one. Uh, whenever you need to get one yard, uh, and you'll score easy touchdowns, guys. You'll convert on those third and ones, two and ones, and all that stuff. Just always match it up right there. The receiver didn't block. Just always make sure you match up that run based on those blockers. Now, there are times when you'll have to cut it back. Like right here, we got to cut it back. You have to cut it back. You can't take that to the outside because of the way that defense is developing. Now, every once in a while, you'll get some crazy block shedding defense. But most of the time, if you run it the way I'm telling you to run it and pay attention to these uh um, details you'll do fine don't press turbo just let your blocks develop and then just run that ball in there if you press turbo your receivers don't hold their blocks and you'll get those cornerbacks they'll be breaking off of those blocks here we just not holding turbo just running in letting those blockers get out and lead the way it's a great run play, has potential to break out for a one play touchdown every time. You just got to be careful and pay attention to that box. You're just going to be patient, let these guys block for us, and score easy touchdown, guys. You just read that defense. Should you take it inside or outside? Right here, that left looks so good. That left looks so good, guys. It's an easy glitchy play to use in the red zone or just on the field regular to score an easy touchdown, guys. It's very hard to stop, especially if you can trick your opponent to where he thinks you're running it to the right and you run it to the left, or if he thinks you run it to the left and you run it to the right. That's what's so good about this play. That's what's so good about this play. Guys, thanks for watching. It's your boy Wayne6578. Yep, I'm outie, but I'll be back.